What's going on guys, my name is Noble, and welcome to another video of Genshin Impact. But this video is going to be a little different than what I normally do. So, I just watched the 1.4 stream that just happened today. And today I'm going to basically be reviewing it, you know, informing y'all on what is currently going on and stuff. So, I hope you enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's just jump into it. Alright, so, first things first. Uh, Rosaria. Oh, Rosaria. Rosaria, Rosaria, Rosaria. Rosaria's coming in 1.4. She's got the sexy walk. She's got a luscious cheeks, luscious ass. She's a polearm user. Lots of polearm users. We've been getting a ton of those. I don't have enough polearms for this, man. I need more polearms. I don't have enough. And, uh, she's ice. She's a four star, by the way, also. So, which will, that will, she'll be pretty accessible to everybody. She's a four star. Uh, there is one thing, though. Uh, her, her, her milkers, her mommy milkers, they've, they've been slightly they've been um uh, how can i say this they've been nerfed slightly they're not as nerfed as we as we saw before but they're they're not as big as they were they once were in their full glory when we first saw rosaria when we first saw rosaria they were immaculate they were the milkers of milkers so much milk lots of milk but yeah, uh, I'll just start explaining her abilities now. Alright, so her first skill is called Ravaging Confession. So basically, you teleport behind the enemy, and you slash him, and it deals cryo damage. But you can't teleport behind large enemies, but in the clip right here, it's, it sh shows that you can. So I don't know, I don't know what, why, why they said that. That's a little, that's a little weird. And her next skill is, uh... Rites of Termination, so she pretty much, what she does is, she throws down an Ice Lance, and then, every like few seconds, it like does cryo damage, and she has a talent where, um, if she's, uh, once she places that, she can basically buff the crit damage of uh, all your party members, so she can be used as a main DPS or a support, so that's, that's kind of pog, you know. That's pretty pog. And she has another pretty useful talent where basically she increases your movement speed by like I don't even I can't remember how much, but it's a it's a pretty decent amount. But it can only do it at night cuz you know vampire stuff, vampire things, sexy vampire lady things. But yeah, overall Rosaria seems like she'd be a pretty solid character. She could be a support, a main DPS, but I don't have enough pole arms for her. But better be damn sure I'm pulling for her. A hundred percent, I'm pulling for her. I'm free to play, so gotta save up some primos. I live in my box. And these are the two banners that she's going to be on. I don't know if she's gonna be on the Tartaglia banner or on the Venti banner. I'm assuming she's gonna be on the tar the Tartaglia banner. And, yeah, by the way, Tartaglia is coming back. So, I don't know. I might summon for Tartaglia, because at first I didn't really like Tartaglia, because I didn't think he was, like, super good. But, you know, after seeing Tectone's video and stuff about him, I'm having second thoughts, you know. I'm having second thoughts. And there's going to be some new weapons, too. There's a new bow, a sword. There's two new bows, a sword, and a, and like a book. So those are going to be pretty cool. They're all four stars. One of them's five star. One of them's a new five star bow. And that's going to be pretty cool. I don't know how we're going to be able to get those. I'm assuming the five star one's going to be like a summon, a summonable one. But the other ones are probably going to be for like an event or something. Alright, now it's time to get into the, the main events of this whole 1.4 update. First thing we got, a little mini Oceanid, 
pet. So we get it for this event where we collect like little ocean monsters. And uh, you know, fuck you, fuck all you people who brought blue sealies. We got a better one now. This one's better. And there's also gonna be a new event with the worst boss in the game, Oceanid. They're basically making her even stronger than before with uh, new attacks. Except this time you can actually like hit her physically. So I guess that is a little bit better. But this boss is still very annoying. And I hate it. So I literally never fought this boss. Well, I've only fought him like a few times. But other than that, I've never fought him again. Like fuck this boss, honestly. And there's this. There's dating sim Genshin Impact. Where it's a dating simulator, basically. So, you basically have four characters you can talk to. I think they said it was Barbara, Noel. Uh, it was Barbara, Noel. Who the fuck were, who the fuck were those other two? That's, it was Barbara, Noel, Chong Yoon, and someone else. Uh, I don't know why they chose Barbara and Noel. Like, you could have given us, like, better care. Oh, yeah, and Bennett, too. That's who it was. Bennett. I fucking hate Bennett. Why, why Bennett? <laughs> why? No one cares about Bennett. And then, you have DDR Simulator. Genshin Impact DDR. Rhythm Games, baby. Making our own music and stuff. So, you basically play the harp and hit some strings, you know? You, you play some tunes, make some beats and stuff. It's pretty fucking cool. I think this is going to be a really good event. Because not only can you play songs, you can, you can make your own songs. You can make your own music on this thing. And you can make music with your friends. So if you're in a co-op game and you both play the harp, you can make the f most fire song anyone has ever seen. And then people ask you where you get that song. It's like, I made it. In Genshin Impact. And the next thing is, there's this like, balloon kind of mini game Where you shoot balloons, and it makes things explode. Makes the balloons explode. I don't really understand this one. I don't really see the... I don't, I don't, I don't know the goal. I don't understand the goal of this one. I guess it's like, shoot as many balloons as you can. But... That's pretty much all we got for this one. For this, I don't really know too much about this. This one kind of confuses me, to be honest. But then there's this one. This one I can pretty much understand completely. It's uh, another gliding simulator kind of thing. Where you glide around, you collect little orbs. And eventually you reach the bottom. And you're obviously you're on a time limit. But you have to reach a specific spot. And then... There's mini games like these, like Fall Guys mini games, like where you have to stand on the tiles that won't fall, and obviously if you fall you lose. That's pretty fucking cool if you ask me. Like, are you are you kidding me, Genshin? Like, these things are gonna be like really fun. <laughs> I really think this is gonna be fun. And then there's a memory game. My memory is like amazing. This game is gonna be a piece of fucking cake to me. It's gonna be so fucking easy. Like. I won't even know this exists anymore. I'll beat every single level in the first try. You can quote me on that. And then, there's this dude. This dude, he's fucking cool. I like this guy. This is an Abyss Herald. This is that dude that Dainsleaf was talking about in the last quest. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the 1.4 update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Niggas go take on tell a bang or in so inside trying to find what I'm missing. Race kill, we gon' pop out a skin. Red flags got a wallet to lean upon.